What is up, YouTube? We got a pretty sweet unboxing we're going to be doing today. We're going to be going through a new Wii Knife. Had it for a while, just haven't gotten around to making the video yet. So we're going to be go ahead and digging into this guy. Um, it's going to be a fun one for sure. Before we do that, I want to say thank you to everybody who's already liked and subscribed to our channel. If you haven't, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and then hit the little bell next to it. That lets you know when we make new content and we're going to continue to make content. So you might as well see it and check it out anyways. You can also head over to Work Knife Balance 939 at Instagram and follow us there. We'll post videos. We don't post as much over there, but it's a great way to contact us. Send us a message. Talk to us. Let us know what you want to see, what you don't want to see. And if you got something cool you think we should take a look at. We'd love to take a look at it and then send it back to you with one of these cool little stickers just as a thank you for letting us check out your knife. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. This is going to be a new Wii knife. Um, Y'all better get your excite on for this. Ha <laughs> ha We're going to be checking out this sweet little Wii knife. So this is going to be one of their new limited edition runs right here. They made 205. This is 190 of 205. So... All the specifications and everything like that right there on that little COA card. And then we'll go ahead and get into this. Let's put this all over to the side real quick. Cool. So open it up, you got all your normal stuff. You got your sticker, you got your cloth, you got your little contact information for Wii and stuff like that. And then here is the knife. This is the Wii Exciton. I was really stoked to see this uh, for a lot of reasons, but more often than not, I loved the Xiphius, and this is probably going to be Xiphius's cool big brother uh, who takes the cake for what everything is right there. So this is the Wii Exciton. I picked this one up from AZ USA Blade Works. I'll go ahead and link their website down below, but... There are a very limited run of these, and I don't know how many of them are still available out there. So if I can find any, I'll link them down below. But without meanings, like I, I think you're going to have to be checking the secondary market for most of these right here. So first impressions, I absolutely love the ergos on this knife. It feels really good in hand down here. You can choke up if you need to. Really good jimping on the back. I love this like faux integral frame that they made to it right here. You've got the twill carbon fiber on the back right here. Some little speed holes right here for skeletization or just not really lightweight, I guess. I mean, you, you are making it lighter, but I don't know why you would have to do that to cut the weight down. You've got the three holes right there and three holes on the other side as well. You've got this milled blue line that comes through. It just, it's very beautiful. And I really love the hole that they put there for the flick as well. It is a button lock press lock in there so it feels really good but beyond that you also have a flipper tab on the back so you can flip tab as well if you want to use that versus the hole or the button lock to whip it out so it is a pretty sweet knife let's go ahead and do some measurements real quick before we dive too far into all of this and then we'll do some comparisons so right off the bat we're looking at some measurements overall length we are looking at just over eight and a half, we'll say 8.7, just under 8.75, so 8.7. And then the blade length, we are looking at about three and a half on the blade length, 3.6 on the blade length with about 3.25 on the cutting edge. You got a really generous choil on the front there. Really nice finger choil to get in there for choke up as well, but cuts back on some of that blade edge right there and everything. Sitting on CPM 20 CV right there, 190 of 205. This is just absolutely fantastic. I really love the blade shape. I love the dual grind with the hollow and then the flat coming down. There's a lot of really cool things about this knife. So we're gonna talk about it for a little bit and do some comparisons. Here we go, Ontario Rat 1 up above, Ontario Rat 2 down below. So it is a bigger knife. It's bigger than that Rat 1 right there and much bigger than the Rat 2. Go ahead and pull the spider codes out as well so we can do those comparisons. We got the para two and the para three. 
So you got a big knife. It's not small by any means, um, but it is gonna be a full-size knife and it is a full-size fun knife. It's a lot slimmer than I thought it was gonna be for a big knife as well. And then because we've got it here and we've got a really close comparison, let's go ahead and pull the Ziphius out and show you side-by-side -side comparison. So it's gonna be a little bit longer than the Ziphius and it is a little bit thinner than the Ziphius. If you can look at the handles there, it's gonna be a little thinner than the Ziphius, I believe. We'll do a top-down comparison on those right there. So put the Ziphius down below and you'll put the Exciton right there. Well, really not that much thinner. Some of the biggest differences I see, it is thinner right here, but the blade still sticks out some. But one of the things I love is I think more people in the community like the spidey hole or this little hole flick than thumb studs. For me, it really depends on the knife, um, but I like that hole on this knife more than the thumb stud. So uh, this thumb stud is, is cool, it's life. I like it, I love the profile on the Xiphius, but the Exciton just takes the cake for me, for sure, with this one right here. I love the blade profile with the swedge at the top, and this the way they did the compound grind. You've got the hollow grind on the primary right here, and then a flat grind coming down to the tip. It just looks so good. It's aggressive, it's classy, it creates really nice lines. That The knife feels fantastic. The Xiphius has that little ramp for the thumb right here. Um, if you go ahead and open this one up, you got that little ramp and the really nice, very generous jimping um, coming through there, which you don't have that ramp on the Exciton, but you don't need it. That flat back and the way that the drop point kind of comes together there, it feels really good in hand. This, I think, is... This was uh, Production Knife of the Year for Blade Show Texas. And this one, I think, they just kind of took all the pointers that they heard from this one uh, and made it better. And they came out with the Exciting. And this is fantastic. Just kind of takes the cake once again. And these... Like I said, they're about 400 bucks, but they're really, really hard to find right now because they have kind of just flown off the shelves from when they came out. It does, I do have this one with the uh, black stonewashed bevels and the black brushed flats throughout it as well. Um, has that drop point blade to it. Really nice, really nice uh, titanium handles with that twill carbon fiber faux integral lock on the back there as well. It is not ambidextrous, but it does have a really nice milled titanium clip. Comes in dead nut centered, so don't really have to worry about anything there. And then the action is just beautiful. It's not like a true detent with the button lock, but it feels really good. Whips out, super fun, very fidgety. I really like how easy this comes together and how smooth it feels. There's nothing that you really have to work with, which I mean, on the Xiphius, there was nothing you had to mess with either. It was a really smooth, easy working knife. It's nothing that about this that was, the action on this that was worse. It's just the excite on everything about it was a little bit, done a little bit better in my opinion. So yeah. The way that they did the milled lines on this one, I think bring a better aesthetic than the milled lines on the Xiphius. The Xiphius, it follows that integral and kind of highlights the faux integral. This one, it kind of highlights the show side a little bit more and highlights the actual scale rather than highlighting the backspacer. But that backspacer is really nice. And then they added a little bit of a lanyard hole spot. So you can actually put a lanyard through here for those of you who love lanyards. I don't know why they needed to do it, but I'm sure there was enough people that wanted a lanyard hole um, and didn't like it being shown. So on the Xiphius, it is very much like prominently displayed right there. It is kind of like a hidden lanyard on the Exciton, which kind of is nice. I think they could have gotten rid of it, all gotten rid of it altogether, in my opinion, but it's nice to still have it, I guess, for those of you who like lanyards as well. So there's not much else to say about this one. This is probably going to be a safe queen for me. Not that a $400 knife needs to be a safe queen, but it is going to be a safe queen because I'm, it's a, it's a limited edition run and I really like it. I'll bring it out. I'll probably have it set, displayed nicely, but I won't carry this one very much because it is a pretty cool knife that I want to keep in really good condition along with the Xiphius as well. So there's the original. The Exciton just done a little bit better. 
not much left to say on this video. So we're going to cut it short and just say TTFN. We'll see you next time.